Hey everyone, it's Dave for Gamers on Games, and tonight we are going to be talking about the Crit Awards and as that relates to uh, Gen Con. So uh, there's going to be a lot to get through here, and at the same time, while there is a lot to get through, there is also very little to get through because there's not a lot of information, and there is a lot of supposition and conjecture as to what is truly going on. Now, for what it's worth, uh, I've been trying to find things out through Twitter. I have tried to find things out through other sources as well as YouTube. And I am very disappointed uh, with what I am finding so far, which is namely we're all kind of coming to the same conclusion, but the takeaway is the real problem. And the takeaway is because of some of the language used by um, the Crit Awards, there is an issue with how it is being interpreted, how it is being spun, and the way that they are moving things. So what we're going to do is we are going to go through this as best as we can, and we're going to talk about it as it is, as well as what we think may have happened. Now, again, we are working on theory. We are working on using what we can see to determine what we think happened and what we think it means. So let's get into this. We're going to start with their public statement, uh, which is they have uh, regulations about what constitutes a nominee and what nominees can and cannot have and can and cannot do in order to be nominated and win their award. And that's fine. I mean, I'm hard pressed to think of any uh, award out there any recognition that doesn't have some sort of qualifications or caveats or whatever about what you can and cannot do to win or even after you win. Heck, there are codes of conduct for beauty pageants on what the winners and the runners ups can and cannot do and things that may happen after the competition that could cause them to lose their crown and lose their award and or position. So, that being said, let us get into what we are dealing with here. So, as you can read on the screen, and if you are just listening to me, which I know some of you do, this is what is on screen. This is their statement. We at the Crit Awards want to be very clear in our stance and address an updated portion of our code of conduct for clarity. Individuals who identify as Zionists promote Zionist material, or engage in activities that, without a doubt, support Zionism, are not eligible for nomination. Now, the reason I am going to focus on this starting point, because I do believe this is the crux of the entire situation that has happened, is, and again, because of the way things are, are going, this is why I think this is the start point, uh, it is the use of the term Zionist. Now, for those who are unfamiliar, Zionism and Judaism are not the same thing. However, there has been a use in government and foreign relations that has tried to inexorably there has tried to tie the two together without fault. I cannot get the word that I really want to use. You guys probably can tell which word I'm trying to get said, but I cannot seem to get my mouth to make that word. Um, inexorably. There we go. That was the word I was trying to go. Inexorably link the two of them together and make the two basically uh, similes for each other. They are not. Now, I was brought up in the Jewish traditions, okay? Uh Am I an, an active practicing Jew anymore? No, not really. I do what I do for family and for uh, friends, but I myself am no longer practicing. You might even say I got it perfected. Ha ha ha! There's there's my there's my one joke that I constantly use whenever the whole, um, you know, are you practicing or not uh, situation comes up. All right. And that being said, Zionism is related to Israel, Israel's ability to survive, 
and Israel's right to the territories, okay? As it pertains to the conflict with Gaza. So we're talking about the the Israeli-Palestinian conflict now. As it pertains to that, it is shorthand and also the basis for the incursions and setup of settlements and colonialization of Israel into the Gaza and West Bank situations and areas. Those uh, setups of, of, of settlements and whatnot uh, is part of the Zionist um, plan. Okay. Now, here's the problem. The use of the word Zionism is so loaded. It is a disastrously and heavily loaded word. And the reason is, is it ties heavily back into uh, anti-Semitism on its baseline. Because here's the thing. There is a document out there called um, The Elders of Zion. Okay? And what it does is it's a bunch of uh, anti-Semitic tropes. And for many, this is their first introduction to the term Zion or Zionism. And because of the anti-Semitic tropes that are in there, it all ties into how to make Zionism and uh, and Judaism the same thing. Are they linked? Yes. Are they the same? No. Can you be anti-Zionist without being anti-Semitic? Yes. It's a case of, I don't like what your government is doing, but I don't have anything against the Jewish people. That is is being anti-Zionist without being anti-Semitic. Same as the as the principle of, I support the Palestinians' right to exist and be a people and be alive and not be genocided without being anti-Semitic. Because here's the thing. There are many, including Israeli citizens, who are openly against Hamas, are against their own government, but are pro-Palestinian civilian and Palestinian children and pro-Jew. Okay? This needs to be said because a lot of what I am seeing online is using this entire Crit Awards uh, declaration here on screen as the basis to ramp up anti-Semitic rhetoric. And the funny thing I have been finding is most of the people and accounts I am seeing it coming from are anti-Semitic on their own right. They are frequently speaking out in anti-Semitic terms, and it's it's not a good thing. It's a case of they're finding a new excuse to, you know, poach uh, and, and uh, propose anti-Semitic rhetoric in the weird convoluted backhanded light of making it sound like they are pro Jew. Okay. But the problem is they're not. In addition, we need to be very aware of the situation that surrounds, uh, not only the Jewish people, but also Israel as a country, as well as Palestine, Palestinian civilians and Hamas in that, um, being pro one is not anti other. Okay. Again, as stated, there are many Israeli citizens who are very openly pro Palestinian civilians and their right to exist, their right to not be genocided. But there is also a lot of heavy pressure from the government for them to not speak out. Um, there is a reason that the international courts have uh, have uh, warrants out for uh, for Netanyahu and um, oh god it was Saeed I believe is the leader of uh, Hamas we need to be aware of this we need to be aware of what is going on now how does all of that tie back into this well when you sit there and you say hey listen we're going to um, you know show that we are 
not in favor of the genocide that we all now see occurring. We see it with the indiscriminate bombings and shootings and tank deployments, uh, the invasion, the invasion or attacks on Rafa, um, the systematic starvation and dehydration and cutting off of medical supplies of the Palestinian people, the collective uh, collective punishment, which is actually a, uh, a crime against humanity and a war crime. All of this. We are seeing all of this. Now, this is a case of Crit says, hey, just so you know, we stand, you know, against a genocide and they're taking the punishment for, uh, for it. Is what they're doing, um, you know, that big of a step? Not really. But what it is, is it is an opportunity for them to use the limited platform they may have in the relative scheme of things and say, by the way, this is where we stand. This is not a bad thing, okay? Whether or not you agree with their position, them using their position to um, to, to to take a stand for what they believe in is not a bad thing. Again, whether or not you agree with it, believe in it, or otherwise, this is part of what makes America, America, okay? This is First Amendment in action so to people who are screaming they need to be canceled or whatever you're, you're anti first amendment okay they are not actively uh promoting violence they are not promoting hate they are taking a stand against something they see as a human wrong okay so them saying if you uh, if you stand or are, are promoting the wiping out of an entire group of people, then we, you know, you are not eligible for this because that does not align with our value system. I have seen numerous posts online, you know, Reddit and, um, uh, Twitter and the rest where, the, the leading word that they're using for everything is, oh, this is a woke award. Oh, this is a woke group. No, it's a diverse group. And again, people were feeling threatened because of that. And it happens. It's unfortunate, but it does happen. And guess what? If you don't want to engage with them because they don't align with your values, that's your First Amendment right. Okay? You don't get to shut down their First Amendment right. But you do get to say, I'm not going to engage in that. There's my First Amendment right. You know, vote with vote with your attention. Vote with your um, your engagement. Vote with your wallet. Enough said. So, for them, this was their first uh, their first stint. They said, Hey, by the way, um, you know, this is this is where we stand on this. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to bring up the next uh, slide here. Okay, so this is the next slide that we've got here. Uh, this was the uh, recent post. This is on the 24th. So this would be, what, yesterday? Yeah, as of this recording, this is yesterday. Um, it reads as follows. Uh, this, is the, this is the header before the actual image. So we're going to do header and then we're going to do image. This is extremely difficult on us. Uh, as we navigate the situation that we are finding ourselves in, update uh, updates as to what, excuse me, updates as to what any physical event will look like will come uh, at a later date until then, colon, and then the image. So let's actually take a quick look at the image. And there we go. There's the image. Due to recent events and the attention that we have received, it is with an extremely heavy heart and much disappointment that the Crit Awards will be unable to return to Gen Con for its 2024 event due to safety concerns. Again, I am my assumption is, because I've gone through their thread, it really looks like this is in response to the image that we looked at previously. I genuinely believe that is where this is all stemming from. That being said... 
the fact that they have safety concerns does not surprise me. The Israel-Gaza conflict and war has been a polarizing aspect of global politics and especially a domestic American politics. Um, this has actually been so polarizing and so critical that it has actually divided the Democratic Party. With uh, Joe Biden being in power, uh, there has been a distinct pushback against his uh, foreign policy regarding Israel and regarding this conflict to the point where there was an uncommitted vote option in the Democratic primaries, which many have used nationwide. That would be myself included. So I have no problem saying that, by the way. Because here's the thing, without a visible, quantifiable pushback and presence at the ballot box, there is no way for the president to realize from a from the voter base level that he is losing the support. He is losing the enthusiasm of his voter base. It is a problem and it needs to be addressed. Now... Has he made policy changes since the uh, uncommitted option uh, reared its head? Yes. Is it enough? I would say no. Others would say yes. That's a matter of opinion and probably deeper down the rabbit hole than I would care to go at this time. But, again, as I said previously, Crit is using this opportunity and their platform to say what they believe. Now, as they are saying what they believe, others are free to respond with the, what they believe. However, the fact that they have safety concerns says that something that they received is over that line. They have moved from an expression of ideas and an expression of counter ideas into somebody has put them in a dangerous or compromised position in which their safety is now of concern. We have had this previously at Gen Con in the past. Uh, one actually resulted in uh, physical altercations. I'm not going to go too deep into that rabbit hole, but if you can get what I'm getting at uh, and alluding to, thank you. If not, um, I think we have covered it in the past when it did happen. That being said, they have safety concerns. I feel like that's pretty much uh, pretty much well said right there. With this said, uh, getting back to their image. With this said, we will be continuing uh, forward with a virtual event as we evaluate how we will be moving forward with the celebration of the amazing creators and phenomenal community members in the TTRPG space. Tickets purchased for the Gen Con event will be refunded. That's good. Listen, they have a problem. They do want to continue forward. Good on them. They are finding an alternate means to engage with their audience and engage with uh, what they are trying to do. And uh, they are also being upright and, and forthright about... Um, Upstanding and forthright about the refunds that they're going to be offering for um, the inconvenience. Again, all this to me feels like a good handling of the situation. Moving forward with their image. We encourage any of our nominees who wish to remove their participation in any capacity to please reach out as we understand this situation can be extremely mentally taxing and difficult in ways that may be unexpected. Voting will remain open until July 7th. And again, I want to actually give them kudos. This response is excellent. They are again acknowledging the situation as it is going on. They are acknowledging the fact that those who are, are nominated and are now tied to them may wish to cut those ties, not only because it could be career ending or career damaging, but it could also be mentally and emotionally taxing and or damaging, or even a case of their own safety by that connection 
could be in danger and they wish to try and uh, put some distance between themselves and, uh, and and crit. It makes sense to me. I think this is I think this is a very healthy and very responsible response to the situation that they are dealing with. And I want to give them I want to give them kudos for that. We want to take a, this moment to reaffirm our stance that hate in any capacity will not be tolerated by any individual or groups within our event. Again, nicely said, helps put a cap on the fact that they are receiving some sort of hate. It also helps uh, allude to the fact that they are receiving some sort of hate or attacks. Well done. Well said. So I like that. Now, unfortunately, this is also where I got to get back into some of the responses I'm seeing. Some of the responses I'm seeing is people using this statement in combination with the, um, the Zionist remark that we started this entire discussion with and saying, well, wait, this is hypocritical because you are trying to exclude people who are um, who, who are pro Zion and pro Zionist uh, from your thing. So isn't that hypocritical? And the answer is actually no. Being against a government is not the same thing as being against a people or the people, and that is where people are trying to create a pit trap that is not going to have anyone fall in it. The reason is, again, hatred is against marginalized groups, namely. Now, can it be against the majority? Yes, there could be um, uh, pushback and apartheid. And the problem is, is that's kind of what you have going on in the whole Israel-Palestinian uh, conflict, is you have a two-tier system going on here where, as has been previously described by the media, Palestine is effectively an open-air prison. It is ridiculously overcrowded, uh, and and it's underserved. So, and they the rights are limited, especially their mobility. So that being said, uh, the attempts to use uh, anti. Zionist uh, sentiment as a basis of this is a hate speech, it doesn't it doesn't work. It does not float the boat. Um, let's move on with their image. We ask for patience as we come to terms with the situation and want to thank the community for the outpouring of support and positivity. I can never fully express what it means to both myself and the entire Crit Awards team, and then Ivy and the Crit uh, Awards Board. Now, sadly, I don't know nearly as much as I should about these people. Um, I have to admit, I had heard of um, the Crit Awards uh, after last year's um, uh, after last year's um, Gen Con. Excuse me, sorry, I had a brain fart for a moment. Um, I had heard of uh, of Crit, however, I don't know anything about it because it was one of those things of it was kind of mentioned to me in passing. And I was just like, oh, okay, I'm guessing it's another award like an Enies. I even, th I maybe even thought it was actually um, like a subdivision of the Enies. But, you know, apparently it's its own thing. So that's fine. Um, I think that, I think that's pretty well summarizes everything we can say about this image that they've used as part of their public statement. So let's uh, let's shrink that down. Now let's follow the thread that they started here. So again, let's you know now that we've covered the image. I'm going to hit the header again, and we're going to move down through the actual um, the actual thing. This is extremely difficult for us as we navigate. You know what? Let me actually um, let me actually expand this just a little bit here because I think oh I didn't realize I was actually shrunk. Let's do it that way. That way it's a little easier for everyone to read. Uh, let me make sure that the spacing looks good. Yeah, spacing looks fine. Okay, I just want to make sure everybody can read this. Um, this is extremely difficult on us as we navigate the situation that we are finding ourselves in. Updates uh, as to what any physical event will look like uh, will come uh, at a later date. Until then, and then the image, 
And this is the follow-ups uh, in their thread discussing the thing. Due to recent events and the attention that we've received is uh, extremely heavy heart. Blah, 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 blah. Um, sorry, oh, I could have sworn there was more to this. No, okay, I'm sorry. They they just typed up what was in the thing. Why did I think I, I had, when I had read this before, that this was... Um, I thought this was actually something different. I apologize. That one's on me. Um, I must have, I, I made a mistake on that one. So here's the thing. Uh, my hope is is that whatever is going on can be resolved and can result in um, them having this whole thing, you know, fixed, uh, to put it mildly. I hope that they will be able to actually attend Uh but here's the thing. Um, again, I am, uh, I, I'm actually very disappointed in respondents who are using this as another attempt to do, uh, anti-Semitic, uh, rhetoric. And it's, it's disappointing. People need to understand there is a difference between Zionism and Judaism. They're not the same thing. And being disapproving of, you know, Zionistic principles and actions is not the equivalent of anti-Semitism. Okay. Um, it, it, that's really what this all boils down to. And I, I have heard, uh, again, I've seen it in, in various uh, threads and, and whatnot, that apparently Gen Con is not supporting them. And that's part of the reason all this is happening. I don't know if that actually is the case, but rumor mills are rumor mills. And I don't know what is actually the case. My hope is, is that Gen Con will actually, um, um, support them and help them actually do their events. Uh, but I, I don't know, I guess we'll just have to say. That's 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 my stance. That is where uh, I see this whole thing going with uh, with the credit awards. Um, I did open up, um, you know, this is the the, the header for their um, uh, their uh, Twitter account. This is their uh, link tree, so you can see they have quite a bit going on here, and then. Uh, this is their website itself. So, um, this is the 2024 finalists. Um, I don't know what that's doing, but all right. So you have quite a bit going on here. Uh, so we have uh, a bunch of finalists for a bunch of different games. I have to admit, I'm not a hundred percent sure i recognize most of these that are listed um i have i have heard of a few but not as many as i probably should that being said uh salvage union i know i've heard of uh we actually covered uh salvage union at one point um what was the other one there was another one that's on this list that we did also cover at one point um Ah, uh, hold on one second. Of course, now I can't find it, right? That's usually the way that goes. Yeah, I'm just not finding it, and I don't know why. Eh, it'll come to me later. Usually does, right? Okay, so anyway, there's there's your there's your the uh, awards. Okay, so I think we've thoroughly covered this as well as we can. I think that uh, this is about as good as this is going to get for a discussion. I hope that uh, maybe we've illuminated some of the problems, not only with uh, what is going on, but also with the responses from 
uh, from the public. Again, I genuinely and sincerely ask that people um, realize that that Zionism and and, uh, Judaism are not the same thing and not interchangeable. All right. That being said, uh, I want to thank everybody for joining me. Let's uh, keep it going in the discussion uh, in the comment section down below. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, and uh, if you do have a dollar that is burning a hole in your pocket, please do feel free to give it to us. It would help us buy coffee. And uh, coffee is the lifeblood on which I run. So uh, thank you. And uh, we'll see you guys next episode. Dave out.